now we actually got very good answers. And you guys have convinced me. I think that is a big reason why. And the most Rage important is thing is we filled enough time for the game. Taurus versus Infamous. Both teams are one and three. One of them will now go two and four and be in the fourth place spot for the uh, the qualifiers. Okay. And now we go back to, pardon me for being wrong about the Thunder Predator thing. I'm still very mad about myself. Though. But you, you look at the cores. Let, let's compare them. King Tekka versus Stinger. Who would you guys take? King Tekka. King Tekka. By a very pretty big margin, would yes. you say? Yeah. Yes. And that's the biggest thing. And then... I mean, right there alone, right? The off lane is a very important thing. I can't believe, why did that Doom in the CIS game versus PL not build a Crimson Guard? That actually blew my mind. All right, stay on top. Then focus Benjaz up, up. versus Kataro. What? Benjaz, Benjaz versus Kataro? That's, that's a I, tough I would personally take Benjaz. I think Benjaz, it's Hero. But I, I think, think that's related. reliability more than anything. Like, yeah. Kataro has... That's a good point. Yeah, he, he can... Higher ceiling. He has a higher ceiling, but also lower floor. a lower floor. Very lower low. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> Maybe you've stunned that guy at the wrong time while he's dropped one of his items, you know? He's a, he's a coin flip player. <laughs> uh, our mid matchup, Papita. Versus Leo style? Versus Leo style. That's, I mean... I, uh, that's I, a tough one. I really me. liked Papita when he played off lane. Like, that was back during King's Cup... And he was doing that, mm. and I really liked him. And I think moving to mid, I, I wouldn't say he got worse, but I feel like he was just a better offlane player, and I'd probably take Leo style again. Okay. Papita Viper, though, is undefeated. Yeah, uh, but no one picks Viper, true. do they? <laughs> <laughs> the, the supports I, I really infamous, like infamous is. as a big advantage, right? Excel Matthew, Excel are both, I think, very good supports from the South American region. Matthew is probably the top four player in South America. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I think Excel is a... Pretty good five position, maybe yep. the best five in in so South America. We have we have all him. these like we have all these uh, good players like, but Infamous still isn't putting it together. They're not putting it together. That's the thing. I think I think the leadership now, because in in a game like Dota, like eventually having a good captain, like experience on your team is gonna win out, right? Because remember in the well, past, like <laughs> not in South America with Kyle, but <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, go on. There are anomalies. <laughs> there are. They yeah. had like no time to be player. fair to them. Okay, but their choice. Go yes. on. Of course, uh, but I feel like you you look at SG, they have Sanking and Flea. Yeah. You probably bring like a lot of different a looks lot. and experience. Um, on pain, like you have a guy like Weeha who's worked with like the best captains, brings in like a good amount of experience himself, like about how to play the game For and sure. stuff like that. And I mean that's a major winner right there. And yeah. when you when you inject this kind of like uh, experience into a team, I feel like it makes them a lot better. And so, because that this is the direction it should go, right? Whereas like in Dota one. Like Dota one and early Dota two was like individual skill was the most important thing, yep. and then it just started becoming like who's the best team overall, who's the best captain, who's yep. the best overall drafts, and that's where SA is like slowly starting to. They're head finally to. catching up and doing better in tournaments because they finally caught up in that one regard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Definitely agree. Because individual skill wise, like these guys aren't bad at all. Like if you play against no, them in pubs, good. like you're especially like, wow. people like King Tag, and like you just see how good they're. But then of course, then you have the attitude issue. But that yeah. we but won't talk about that. If you have a good that. captain. <laughs> If you have a good captain, yeah. like, rein it in, just like, yo, focus up. Yep. It's weird to say this, but it's a team game, and it's become even more of a team game over the years. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Remember you guys want to talk about the draft here? We yeah. had a uh, first pick, Wisp. Now we're good. 1-2, <laughs> Death Prophet, Night Stalker, second pick, Doom. Now we have the Disruptor. Oh, okay. Hey. Who's that guy? Magi. Oh, big guy. So whenever I see Ogre, and especially Wisp as well, I... There's always like one big hero that you're trying to amp up, right? So what are we looking at here? Luna, especially against Night Stalker. That's a good call. Yeah, I like that. You need that one hero to do a lot of work because you have two yes. fours that don't really initiate for you. Like Ogre, yes, he has a stun, but not really. The range is really bad. It's like his least valued skill, right? Yeah, that's the skill level one the entire game. Yeah, that's a good point. I was like. Um, Maybe not with the Wisp, but whenever I see Ogre, I always think of Dusa. Mm. It's mm. another kind of hero, right? Yeah, you're the reverse uh, Lich. You're the Bloodlust bot. <laughs> That's so sad. What a At sad least Ogre, you get to play on the front lines, though. I mean, Ogre was really fun when you could ruin another enemy mid laner yeah. by sitting on his hill and throwing Ignite with, like, four mangoes. I like the uh, the oh, core Ogre. Oh, give me a Dusa. Is a what? What is this guy? Why do you... Okay, someone tell me why you instantly clinks after a Chaos Knight and you already see Death Prophet. I, I legit don't know. So like, clinks, why did they instantly take it? Clink sucks against Chaos Knight. Yeah, it's like, completely. So but he's pretty good against Death Prophet. Okay. Does he? Can you like projectile dodge stuff? Can't you Yules and then silence? You can only dodge. Oh, 
the auto attacks with the strafe, right? You can't actually dodge like a spell, or can you? Because I no, I think you can. I read it and I tried it in the lobby and I couldn't do it. Maybe I just didn't know how to press the button properly, but that's what Purge, when was I was weird. talking to Purge about it, that's what he. It sounded like he implied. I don't want to put Kevin on the spot here while he's not here to defend himself. And you don't even know if that's actually what he said. <laughs> You're like, <laughs> I, well, I just he's wrong, he's wrong. See ya. I just haven't well played now. that hero. Grants clinks the ability to automatically dodge projectiles. So that was correct. Yeah. Or it was Purge. And it is no longer... Now that I know that I'm right. <laughs> the, uh, the change that happened, um, I'm not sure if it was this batch or the last one, it used to be charges. Yeah. Now it's it's literally just the entire duration. Oh, that's right. Yeah, oh, so yeah. three three point five seconds. So CK CK missed me with that. But so you you like the clinks pick here? Is that what you're saying, or do you? I, I never said that. Okay. Well, that's <laughs> why. Well, that's why I was asking. Why did they immediately pick it after? You're just. I mean, it felt like they were already set on clinks to be. Yeah, honest. that's what I. They insta picked that. Yeah, they yeah. did. They, they I didn't think they just CK didn't coming? care what Taurus had. Okay. I mean, surely Medusa would have been sick there. So why? So oh. now you're bloodlust, man. Is get it? Well, there's your Medusa. Medusa is still good. But Bloodlust on Clinks, Bloodlust on Doom, they're not, that's not the biggest deal, right? Now you're I mean, Medusa. Medusa well, now Clinks is good. Yeah. Yeah. I think Clinks is still good, right? I mean, His still, ta attack it, oh, speed yeah. is always the biggest it, problem. For yeah, and it makes you useful without, yeah. You don't really need to help him in lane either. So Ogre can just run at other lanes. You just give him like a small advantage and he's good. So you guys are liking the infamous draft then, now that the Medusa's out? I like Medusa. Yeah, I I'm like not Medusa. sold on Clinks because <laughs> this this hero just nobody plays it. Nobody actually know. knows how good this hero is. True. So Agreed. Not sure what to expect. The last time Clinks was actually like a common pick was like a couple of years back when you'd see it. You know, oh, one in ten games from EG or something when they thought the it was best. good. That was about yeah. it. Yeah. That was a counter to Wisp, right? Yep. Kills Wisp in like four hits. So forty seconds left. Taurus Gaming. What do you take here? The you last take a picking their off laner. Or Night Stalker could be. You don't think Night Stalker oh, could be off? Night Stalker's definitely off. Okay. So they need. They what need happened to Night Stalker Four? Sorry, Blitz, to interrupt you. Oh, it's fine. Did what? Happened? Like Night Stalker? It, it went from nerfed. like fifty fifty. Like what was the nerf that the, made it? They nerfed the hell out of Void, um, oh, where the cooldown no, no, was really right. bad. Yeah, no so, stun too, right? So now you really okay. need to be. You want to be a core so you can get the level to get to level seven. Yeah. God, no stun on Void during daytime. So weird, it's so isn't it? it's bad. Yeah. That's yeah. really bad, actually. Now that, that yeah, that's really bad. Well, they have five seconds left. They need to, they need to get their mind right. It just feels so weird to last pick a support. Et. That's okay. not a bad one though. That's a game changing no. support if it there is, is one. It is game changing support. And it's Sladen on it. We were talking, but we we didn't finish it. We didn't really talk about Taurus Gaming's. I mean, Sladen has been he plays in NA. He played in all the in-house leagues. He's one of those like you think South America, South America. He's more of a North American, South American player. He's played in all the in-house leagues. He's friends with a lot of the NA players. I think he's very good, and we just don't know that much about KZ, honestly. Yeah, it's true. It'll be interesting. I'm I'm excited for this game. I would you guys say there's a draft win anywhere on each side? Ooh. I mean, one side has Dusa. A Dusa lineup against Chaos Knight. Yep. I think K uh, I think it's just literally Clinks is the X factor, right? Yep. Yes. We just don't know how effective this hero is going to be. Taurus have multiple ways to start a fight, though. Like they have tons of ways to mm. just run at you. Night Stalker and Disruptor. Right. Night Stalker, Disruptor, and Titan. ET. Yeah. yeah, that's scary. CK is also a good core that opens up fights. Damn. Yeah. I Night would. Night Stalker is going to be really bad. good versus Clinks. I would take this on Taurus every day. Taurus is on the left. Bet. Yeah, Taurus would, is on the left. Really, I, I would take, take a 3.05. For Taurus off that lineup, I think I would wow. too. If you if you just if you just run over laning phase, Medusa doesn't. Who gives a crap about Medusa or Clinks if there's a Death Prophet with ulti and CK running at you at 20 minutes yeah. in after winning a lane? They look like they're very prone to getting run over, especially yeah. against heroes like, you know, there's so many forms of initiation on the side of Taurus. CR7. Oh, I did. Someone did tell me what that meant. It. I already forgot. Is it I saw it too. Ronaldo? No, it was. I could. I'll look it up. You guys <laughs> say stuff. Apparently, King Tekka is a big X fan. XX. Okay. Tentacion. Oh. All right. So, in which case, it sounds like the lanes are going to be pretty important. Infamous can't get run over. So, what lanes do they want to have? Dude, CR7 is Cristiano Ronaldo. Yeah. Yeah. Grant, you're, you're just floundering over there. No, I'm. 
No, it's, someone did. Tweet. Someone tweeted it. Yeah, yeah I saw it too. Unless you, they were lying, which they could be lying. If they're just one are. person <laughs> tweeting at you, it, are it we could talking be. about? Are we talking about the SR4 ever? Maybe that was we were talking about. Yeah. yeah. Well, I still want to know what that was too. Also, yeah, we have our first uh, team from qualifiers. By the way, we did, I know. Sorry, we're in this game. We're at a pause though. But congratulations to Serenity, qualifying to TI from China. Hmm. They had a player from Void Boys. Isn't that crazy? Grant, Grant, Grant yeah. literally just that wanted is, to get a remember, little bit of. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I'm, I'm just saying, it, it's cr that, that's like a family tree. I legitimately, you look, they they have like 30 players on their Liquipedia. Like the family tree, you look at them, you're like, Jesus Christ, <laughs> they are very successful. Like from that family tree of, it, it just blows my mind. Just the wrong combination of players are playing together at any I given time. They've nurtured their talent and then ain't taken it elsewhere. I'm finding. So perhaps weaker regions. Perhaps. Shout out to PPD. Read his tweet if you didn't get that. I mean, we could just say it. He okay. said he postulated that uh, the Chinese qualifiers were just very weak. And that is why and a lesser-known team it. qualified. But, man, uh, blink qua. But we're in this game now. This And this is a very important game. You win this game, guess what? You're, you're playing another two days of Dota minimum. You lose this game, you feel, I mean, you feel bad, right? You, you, your whole oh, dream yeah. for the year is over. It feels very bad. And is this the lanes that they want? There's going to be an aggro tri lane coming out. Uh, Chaos Knight aggro tri lane into the clinks. This is very bad for clinks. Yeah. This is something he desperately wants to dodge. And as soon as he sees them, he'll probably just start to run away. But if they follow him, it's also quite a big problem. And there's no way any of these heroes stay alive in this lane against the CK aggro. Yeah. Our mid matchup is going to be the Dusa versus Death Prophet, which I think we've seen a decent number of times. Feels like Dusa does all right for herself. Yep. She just farms, gets everything she wants out of the lane. Oh, look at that. Stinger and Matthew are going to go and try and get King Tech out of lane, prevent him from getting to his tower. They won't be able to do that, but they'll at least get some early damage on him. So this top lane. Dude, Ogre versus ET. <laughs> That's just like... <laughs> Elder Titan doesn't have the best armor, though. And oh my goodness, you see that right there. Oh, Salve already forced. Dude. It's level one bloodlust from Ogre. Yep. He has a uh, extra attack speed from bloodlusting himself, so he can just sit there and trade hits with people forever. And he is one of the highest armor, starting armor still. Yep. Don't does mess with not that feel, man. Yeah, it does not feel fun. Like you could skill skill level one, or on Elder Titan, and you're still losing that fight straight up one on one. Yep. It feels like they won't be able to go on Clinks too much, though, right? No, not with the front Ogre. line. You can't go yeah. past Ogre and Io. So this Ogre him. just makes himself uh, a target at all times. He's a barricade, yeah. He is right. a goddamn right. hero. ET has 130 damage. All right, Matthew needs to be a little bit more careful, though. <laughs> oh. All right, that's just slot and pick it up the first blood. Well, guess what? He didn't go after Pepita. <laughs> he, he, he got past the barricade and just yeah. smashed. <laughs> didn't we just call him the best four player in SA? I yeah. mean, giving one death. Well, slot and just on. a small he sample just on him. And there it is. So, Kataro Medusa middle versus DP. That's a rough one. ET tri lanes, man. This guy likes to spear three people. And and neutrals and regular creeps. And hey, guess what? I have more damage than your Medusa's going to have at 30 minutes in. Yeah, this is literally the the absolute best situation for uh, Elder Titan. So, what does Infamous do? Like, I think Klinks is still going to farm in this lane, but he will. you're not going to stop the farm of the other team, I don't think. It just gets worse once uh, CK has level 2, right? When you actually have the stun. Because there's nothing Infamous can do to stop it, right? There's no stun from Ogre. Io can't really heal him up that much. And this ET is always going to have a stupid amount of damage. You see the, uh, by the way, I think Deusa popped the glyph. Yeah. People are doing that it's nowadays. mess with CS. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, ah. It, it made After him use the right mana. click, I'm it not did. sure if it, it did. if it did that much, but it, it made him waste mana. I mean, it's yeah. it's better than do it than just take in getting hit by the right click. It, yeah. it was a a nice little play that didn't truly do anything. I liked it. I love <laughs> stuff like that, though. I do. I mean, it's just the little things. Little right? things. It really is. I love that. I just mentioned a silly little thing. So, mm -hmm. we you can do it too, Grant. Damn, this is. He is getting punked middle. Oh, he's Leo's going for it. Go for it. Oh, he's got the nuke. No, no. Oh, oh yes, range. yes. <laughs> yeah, that was and he had the healing stuff going. Thought, yeah, I thought he was. I thought that was. Un I didn't know what uh, the Medusa brought out because Medusa got chicken. If he brought out a fairy fire or a health potion, he would have lived there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought he would have been fine, but just an extra. Just, yep. Damn. If if he did. Ouch. 
This everything's coming up Taurus right now. We haven't really looked at bottom lane. What, what is that? It's Night Stalker. Night I mean, Stalker it's, Doom. It's Night Stalker Doom. This should be Doom's got the good creep too. Yep. Does he? Does he have the purple guy? Yeah, He's got he does. the purple dude. Nothing like it's remember? five. It's five point five region now, right? Yeah. Not six. Yes, five point five. Remember that was in China such a weird thing. Cap when we were casting like <laughs> yeah, it was like Shanghai DJ. Major. Anytime they casted like the the nuke, the Chinese fans would lose it. Yeah, they, they, it was back when Chen and Enchantress were being picked up frequently. Yeah, it was hype. I qu didn't quite understand it. I didn't know if there was like some like huge thing about it that I missed. Oh, they, oh my this God. is an excellent stomp. Matthew's going to be in serious trouble. He does not have a tether to be able to get out of there. Excel's going to be pulled back to his doom as well He's with dead. Glimpse. He's just going to get punched down by Slotten and Benjes. Have to go for the extra mango play from Benjes, but that's still fine. Oh, but you do. Benjes didn't get the kill off that. No, Slotten took it with it, the yeah. spirit instead. I mean, you don't know. You just take the kill. Is he dead Yo, again? Did they just kill. Yeah, maybe. It's it, a one oh. second stun, but KZ is going to be pushed back by Papita. Actually, going to try and go for the kill. Ooh. Matthew pushes himself forward. He's still in danger, but they slow down Slotten's right clicks now with the nice. ignite, and he's not going to be able to get the kills. A good turnaround there for Infamous as uh, Taurus just get too greedy. The vision huge. abuse there by Matthew, too juking around all those trees. That was super nice, because I think if he gets reality rifted by CK, he's 100% dead, yeah. and then can't TP back. This lane is not so great for Taurus gaming anymore. <laughs> like, yeah. Benj has no more mangoes. He's got a stick to work with, but he only has, like, one more round of spells. And Papita's farming. Like we said, yeah, exactly. both teams are going to farm, but he's farming better. Now Benj can't really go towards creeps, so... Yeah. Five-minute bounty runes. Slotin's going to go for the stomp. Gets uh, nice stomp though, by Excel. As the Fire Blast ready to go, Benjamin Matthew's going to get pulled back, though. They're going to try and get a two-second stun on him. That should be enough as Matthew has a tether up and will be able to get away. But the last shot from the Disruptor finally catches him. They did pick up the Bounty Rune as a result. But that's Excel. worth it. I think it's worth it if you're dire, right? Yeah, yeah. You give away your IO, who's just dying anyways. Who cares? But you get the rune. Bounty I'm surprised he should have gone for the other one, too. Like, look, no, nothing's stopping him. Oh, you're right. He now now there is. Down. If he just went straight down, yeah, but now it's something stopping him. He would have gone both. Yeah. Still, I think that's fine for Infamous. Because Clank's... They're, I mean, I mean, it's they're a three still going to split two for two. Yeah. It's, a, it's a three on two fight here, and you get the rune, and your Clinks is farming. Because Clinks didn't even... He's like, whatever, do whatever you guys want. I'm just going to farm. Papita is unconcerned. Yep. He is very... Un no, he doesn't care. <laughs> and now he's got his uh, strafe at level four, so he's yep. even, even harder to deal with. When he gets six, this lane is completely unlaneable from Taurus. He's going to have too much health. And then where does your CK go? Exactly, right? He's stranded. You're going to have a very high-level Doom in the safe lane. <laughs> DP is going... Oh, it's a three-man shrine. All right. So, I mean, you, I think for Taurus, right, we, we all agree, you have to pressure early. If you don't pressure, like, the 20 to 30 minute mark, the Medusa's out of control, the Clink's out of control, you might just lose, right? Yeah. Yes. Medusa got soloed, though. That True. helps so much when you get solo killed yep. mid on mid. Like, it, it gives you such a big amount of leeway. You get, like, half a level, essentially, and you don't have to, like, make rotations. You don't he just returned pressure. to lane. He's still ahead in experience. Yeah. Very close, but yeah. Well, actually, with the Siege unit, I think Kataro's nah, No, because there's Leo this whole creep wave. Yeah. Oh, okay. Leo Style's got one wave to work with. So, do you really think, what is that? That's Bottom like 140 lane. experiences that much? Gank onto the Doom. He's uh, maybe not dead. Matthew's going to be able to come in, give him some heals. King Tech is quite low. Stinger's just going to turn around and go for slot and instead. He's got the Infernal Blades. They're going to both get stopped. No, Matthew actually dodged it. As a result, he's got the Wisp Balls to be able to kill slot. <laughs> the one ball. Dunk. So, Everything's looking infamous now. Top lane, Boom, Disruptor's top. getting worked. Ogre? He's going to die first, though. Disruptor will live. The Ignite's still on him, but that's fine. And we've got Leo Style taking the mid tower while they went for the Shrine. I like that. That's so much damage on the tower. Yeah, that's really bad for Infamous if they lose this mid tower super early. Yeah. Like Medusa wants to push the lane out and hit the jungle, but now if you do that, your tower's just going to die. Yes. Normally this is fine here. matchup for Dusa, yeah, because she's one of the few heroes. Like you pick Dusa against these spammers, because she can just sit there, and eventually like she'll outlast you. You'll go do something else like go gank, then she'll you know she'll just like jungle passively. But keeping the mid tower so important, so you can protect your ancients. Papita playing a little careful while his strafe is on cooldown. 
I'm wondering when Taurus came here and going to bring their Night Stalker top, because they probably need something else, like another hero to... Try and go for him again. He doesn't get off the strafe. They land a three-second stun on two, but Matthew is here to be able to provide some heals. Matthew, not going to be able to keep the Clinks alive. Now he needs to save his own skin as he tries to back out to the tower. Ben just pulls him back yeah. in for the double kill. Oh, that's huge. The, uh, I... It kind of feels a little bad if you're Benjo. So Slayton has gotten, what, four of these kills? Like, it's good you're getting these kills in lane, but they're all going to Elder Titan instead of your CK. And he's, he's using his regen to get he's it. He's 2 0 4, and he's got uh, okay. second in that one. But still, wouldn't you rather be him be 6 0 0 and a 0 0 6 ET? I'm sure you would. Absolutely. ET's going to be so far in this game, though. He's already <laughs> yes. at like, the same net worth as Night Stalker. He's killing it. Yeah. Literally, he's killing, like, everyone. But <laughs> <laughs> Rune Steel. Didn't use a void even though he's full mana with an arcane rune. That bothered it's bottled. you? bottled. A little bit. I guess because he has a bottle, it doesn't. If he just straight picked it up and then didn't void, I would be very bothered. But His mana bottled. regen isn't yeah. uh, terribly high either. That's another little thing, Blitz. I feel we're too focused on the little things. No. Especially if the little things are wrong. Yes. <laughs> True. So Clinks still farm. I mean, Clinks is still top of the net worth. But when, when is Clinks's. I guess, as Dakota would say, power peak. Like, when is Clinks the strongest when you get... Is it still Desso? Is Desso first item? I'd say it's right now, but there's level 6. We'll it's the stomp. The strafe is still going on, but as it fades, they get the 3 seconds stun on him. With the extra illusion from Benjis, they almost finish off Papita. Pull him back in with the glimpse. They do have the dust on it, but now Stinger's going to join oh, the fight. This is looking terrible for Benjis. He's going to try and get out. 2 seconds stun onto Stinger to slow him down. Ooh. Stomp to follow it up. A clean extraction there from Taurus as they force a rotation from the Doom. You think that was greedy for him not to use the Doom? I don't think he would have killed him, even with the Doom. Yeah, I guess, but it's hindsight, right? Yeah. Would I you have know. used it there? Probably. I think I would have. If you TP to make that rotation, you need yeah. to make something happen. You Otherwise, it, kill. it's so bad. <laughs> Excel realizes with the night time coming out, Arcane room. he's in big trouble. The Clinks are going to try and come in. Excel running back to the Clinks, hoping that he's going to be saved here, but the silence comes down, and there goes Excel. This is so bad for Infamous. Like, Doom TP top. Now Clinks goes bottom, they lose their mid, mid tower. And then now who's gonna defend top? Yep. Cause uh, an ogre can't even when he lied because oh, no. he TP'd oh, bottom. That is yep. not good. Look at slot, and he's gonna make sure they can't pursue. This is the it's I'm frustrated, I rotated up here. Need to make something happen. Oh man. Two seconds. Now he might even die. He does have Matthew in the back line. Uh, They're gonna chase this he, now. They killed Medusa behind the tier two, by the way, because all their TPs were on cooldown. Glimpse in, Matthew comes in now. This They're going to immediately try and target down the Wiz. Slot, though, is dropping a little bit low. There's the Infernal Blades causing him issues. Matthew is going to die eventually to these right clicks. Very fire, a little bit more. He's actually good. Nice little workaround there from Infamous. I don't know if I mind that too much. If what I'm about the Medusa though? dying middle? Yeah, Medusa died, bit, yeah. and you, you forced Doom onto a Disruptor. Yeah. And that's your main... We talked about the lack of playmaking on the side of Infamous. That's like your main ability. This is like your I have to kill a core spell. All right, that's their their big threat. Nice dodge. He's gonna get it now. Yeah, he's gonna come back, finish off that tower. Nice. Gets away thanks to his haste. Rune. Oh, the haste rune is waiting out. And they do have the dust on him. Papita slowed down, but he has daytime. so much HP. It's void in the day. Yeah, if if this was nighttime, he was dead no matter what. There, but daytime. Sorry, no one fears you during the day, my friend. Is that the quote? It, it was no one fears the night stalker during the day, or it's somewhere around there. That's so convoluted. Why does he got to say that? Because he knows. Because he, kn he knows. He knows when he's cool. It's like it's like you, Blitz. Do you think you'd be a good caster if you stayed awake for 72 hours? No one fears the Blitz cast after the... I don't know. What, what the what? hell ever? What was the direction of this? I'm not sure. The direction is that I like that they're 5 manning going for this tier 1 after they get a tier 2 bottom. That Perfect. a smooth segue. transition. Thank you. I actually really like this rotation by Infamous. Okay. Two towers in one minute. It'd be... Uh, it's a really nice one because they needed to take it back. They need to open up the Deuces game. They're but I feel like you though. should fight, yeah. Night Stalker leads off. They go for Papita. Just blow Jeez. him up real quickly. Papita's already down. Matthew tried to go for the relocate out. Only relocates himself, though. And Stinger behind the tower is oh, no. dead. That's They're going to get three, four? possibly four. A glimpse onto Excel with this nice ward placed down for the glimpse. Matthew, this was a disaster. no way oh, out. Infamous. So you still like that five-man push, Grant? I agree with that move, though. <laughs> I, like, I do like it until... You have to know they're TPing in, right? Because your top tower would have gone down. Yeah. Like, it, once you see nobody's pushing top tower anymore, you know they're TPing middle, right? There's nowhere else for them to be. You it's probably needed vision behind the tower. Possibly, yeah. As well. 
It's so difficult to actually do that against Disruptor and Night Stalker too, right? They're just gonna chase you down forever, so you really have to make sure you disengage Ooh. properly. He can get so. That's the thing. Now that Night Stalker hat was solo bottom, he can solo kill a Clinks if he hasn't eaten a creep every night time. Yeah. What's he going for? He's gonna go for the solar for Papita. Night Stalker. He's so far behind. Is he? What he should be. Like, Is that I feel like he was Andrew? dominating this game. He got the bottom tower. Yeah, he's going the Crimson Guard build. They didn't deny the mid tower. <gasps> so, Kataro oh. still gets that. They walked past it earlier. I'm upset. <laughs> now that makes me, because that, that's zero <laughs> gold. It used to be, you know, you deny a little bit of gold. Now, that's you're denying a ton of gold if you deny it. Yeah. Man, they were... I, I like the defense, though, by Taurus. They were quick on that. They knew that the top tower was going to go down no matter what. It's a little unfortunate that they lost the mid tower anyways, but at least you got a wipe out of it. They might get more heroes here too. Stinger on the front lines. Trying to go for the centaur stomp, but it's just getting kited around. Now Silence pulled oh. back into Leo style, who still has that exorcism going. They, I guess, did not expect Taurus to invade that quickly after taking the tower. I'm not sure, but Papita's going to get caught as well. Night Stalker and Disruptor not. Well, he gets pulled back into the static storm a little bit longer, but they still have vision of another void. Coming up in a second, Pompito just can't get out of vision. Oh man, Infamous, like they need time. They're trying to buy time, but it's so easy for a Taurus to find pickoffs. Night Stalker during the night time, Disrupted running around, even CK can start these fights. Like, it's, it feels like it's impossible for them to dodge. We would have made some sick money, Grant. I mean, I... Off those odds? Taurus, Taurus is killing them. It was like, what, three to one or something? It's still not a, I, I, I mean, it's still a Wisp Ogre behind a Medusa, and right. we're 15 minutes into the game, and Medusa is second high, is first highest net worth. Yeah. The I Medusa mean, still can, but oh, it's pretty much yeah. like she has to dominate this game. It's 10 to 15 minutes, right? This is if, no longer a Clinks game. Yeah, right? this is a Medusa game. It's right. a Medusa game entirely. I think it's, I think it's more so it's a Taurus game. If they if they just back out like they're doing right now and don't continue, pre it's nighttime. They should be pressuring a, another tower, I feel like. If they don't run over them by 30 minutes, I think Medusa will absolutely carry this game. We've got a minute and a half Definitely. of nighttime and darkness up, so I really wish they were doing more on the map. Look at there's four heroes middle and no one from Dire. Like you're the run over team, you need to be running something over. The problem is Taurus didn't get wards out with their movement up to top. Like they had that ward behind the tower from way earlier in the game, but they have two wards on. Uh, who is it? Disruptor. Yeah, Disruptor. He's smoking out to get vision out now, but then it's going to be daytime in one minute, so. Timings are going to be a little oh, bit off. Bounties. And you usually want to make this play with like an actual gank force, right? right. Not just a, a smoke for smoke sand. Is this going to happen? The here? There, there's a shrine with a wisp. A ward down. <laughs> there's no way this happens. He immediately yeah, pops his ultimate just to make sure. Yeah, oh. she's healing for like 2k there. Oh, mass rotation up to the top lane. Benjes is going to be able to get the stun onto Stinger, slowing him down just to make sure he's going to pop uh, Slade Phantasm. Again. Slayton's like how, so rich, man. I like how you stay Slayton. He's, He's a, a slotted. slotted. <laughs> I think it's... I'm sticking to my guns. That's fine. Are I mean, we, there are words that have di two different... Sound, like, are we 2-2 two, two, Slayton, Slotted? What yes. are you, Blitz? We were. I say Slotted. We're 2-2. Two, two. Yeah. And oh, KZ! He? He's huh. good. Thank goodness Brax is the highest MMR, so he's technically correct. <laughs> yeah, but I think uh, Blitz and I combined versus you and yeah, Brax. You want to have a two? This. Okay, if we have downtime, <laughs> we will do a two on two lane first to three kills, and I can assure you me and Brax will win. Assure you? Okay, that means okay. that there's something on the line here. Yeah, your pride. Okay, more than our pride. You're right, you don't really have much pride, so I can't take anything there. <laughs> Let me dunk your head. Okay, loser gets okay. their head dunked in Monster. Losers. Okay. I, I only sure one only one person okay, on each. Only person. one person. All right, so I'll you and it. Cap. Will I'll be wait, what? <laughs> I'll do it. I, I'll take it, Brax. I will take it because it's my bet. Well, Grant, don't worry. We're not going to lose. Blitz, I feel like this is your bet, not mine. Bottom Those are really lane, sick of Cap Matthew, to take that. Matthew, oh. static starts up. He's going to either stop, but he's fast enough to be able to get away. Almost one dies hit. to that press. They're running everything they can to be able to finish him off, and they finally do get him, and they stop the TP out from Guitaro as well. Nighttime indeed, Grant. It was Night Stalker nighttime. If that was daytime, yeah, guess what? Nobody he would have TP'd out and lived. It's the little thing. Yeah, it is. That, that's actually a big thing. That was a nice. He saved it for that gank. He could have used it when they ganked into the shrine, but he didn't waste it there. I, th I think they smart. also still have the Yules from Leo style. Okay, if they had that, then who cares? <laughs> they would have got him. They have a lot of disables. Yep. And they're running over him. There we go. They are now doing uh, the uh, train. They're running over them, but the goldie doesn't really reflect that, right? They're still farming an infamous. 
I think it. When is the f uh, next full nighttime cap? Uh, we are okay. early day. I think yeah. that I think those three minutes are gonna be once you hit that. I mean, that's gonna be Ghost will be up obviously because it's still three minutes away. That's when I think they can take Roche before then and then push with the second Ghost, and they're gonna be in a, a good spot. Disruptors trying to find the uh, glimpse on to Stinger. Doesn't spot him though inside of the uh, trees. He's, he's still going, man. Dude, Stinger's had free. I mean, he's one three and one, but he's just devouring creeps. Vanguard jumps 2.4k HP. He went for the move speed instead of the heal in a game like this. I think you if, like you're, if you're Would not you going go blink, this build, yeah, you have to. If you don't go happy. phase, okay, then I think you need the movement speed. Okay. Move speed's definitely more common, no matter what boots you buy. I've seen the the builds where if they get phase drums, they'll go the heal. I just think you're. Like are you really going to be moving speed. in an actual team fight versus Disruptor and Elder Titan? No, that's true. The heal would be very useful there. Uh, I feel like Infamous need to make the most of this. It's a minute and a half till uh, nighttime, right? It's not like they can force a whole lot, but they do have clinks with the Solar Crest with Bloodlust. Maybe they could sneak Roche yeah. or try I, to make some play for that. Isn't the issue, though, like with their lineup still stands, is they can't really make plays, so they just yep. farm. Exactly. They're like, guys, yeah. we can farm a lot during this time. And then they'll say, well, what would we do when it's nighttime? Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll farm some more. <laughs> <laughs> but if your team, if the enemy team expects you to farm, they won't expect oh. the sneaky Roshia. Yeah, it's true, it's true, it's true. I mean, it would be one hell of a risk against it the Vision Hero of oh. Elder Titan. It's like an all-in play for KZ much. getting turned around on, does get off the Sanic Storm, and he doesn't get out of the Kinetic Field, so now he's stuck. Leo Style loses actually his grip. Look at that going to be able to come in, relocate him out. Now Excel, he's going to be targeted instead, but Doom coming back in after the heal from Matthew. Oh, a stomp boy. lands onto the Wisp in the back lines. They're actually going to be able to hit him with the ultimate, and now Doom gets blown up by Benjes. The Clinks tries to come in, immediately targeted by Stinger. Leo Style, and Infamous just get run over. Matthew's going to try and save his other support, and it looks like Matthew. he will succeed in that, perhaps. Didn't he, he bought back for yeah, this? Yeah, he bought back. Oh, that's... I think you, you have to, though, right? A fight like that? I guess. He probably thought there was more value to it. And, well farm and that's exactly creeps. it i mean this is before the regular night time they're gonna take a tier two that fight i mean roche is free right now for yep. the radiant as well leo style didn't pop his ult either yep yeah he uh it was still on cooldown Did i think I that's in part why infamous wanted to take the fight right there daytime no yeah. exorcism but if i'm if i'm infamous like don't you just doom the disruptor you're like yes. you're not getting yes at this point you're not getting it on a core you're getting opened up on every single time just doom the disruptor, get that kill out of the way. Because worst case scenario is that Taurus backs out, but they lose their disruptor, and that creates space for the rest of your team to like reset and farm for like two minutes. It's definitely not what he's aiming to do, but you have to. You have to adjust. Exactly. I Without mean, Dexes uh, is them down. It's not like Death Prophets. That's scary. Hero. Exactly. Oh, Stomp lands onto the Dusa. They're going to get the silence off. Won't oh, be no. able to get off the immediate stone gaze. Pull back, and Infamous just abandoned their carry. This is so 5K rough. 5k gold lead now. We talk about pushing up hills tough. Infamous has like no high ground defense, like Snake. <laughs> yeah. You have yeah. Snake, and then you look and you're like, well, Ignite. Hey, Wisp Balls. Yeah, but compared to, I know, uh, this is. I'm just messing with you. No, I no. know it's Garbo. This is all things, all things coming up Taurus Gaming right now. I don't think the game is unmanageable. I think this is how it's going to look when you have a Dusa lineup with no playmakers. Yeah, yes. This is the uh, effect of having a lineup that wants to dodge everything, playing into Night Stalker and Disruptor. <laughs> you're just going to get caught everywhere. It's actually interesting. We talked about how maybe Infamous had the better supports, but Sladen feels like he's outplaying. I mean, the Disruptor as well, right? He's just committing his ulti compared to the Doom, who's not committing ulti. Like, I think there's the a King Tekka. Tekka. He like knows he's so big. <laughs> he's just going to go straight for the Wisp, and no one can really target him. Pulling a Poppina, he's trying to lay damage into him, but it just no doesn't damage. matter against that Crimson Guard. They're going to slow down the Doom next. Fortunately, they do have the... Uh, st oh, nice turnaround Centaur stun What's there from the Stinger. Stinger. He actually throws the Doom onto the Chaos Knight, gets another Infernal Blade onto King Tekka. Might be able to finish off, but he will end up going down. Leo Style catches that one with a stomp on the Excel to get more damage and send Kataro back. So now the fight could be in Taurus's favor still, but they don't want to continue. Ben just feeling a bit uncomfortable with the Doom on him. King Tech is low. So everyone just backs up, resets, another one fight. Felt like a super desperate Doom. Yep. He's getting, you can tell, I think he's frustrated. Think Stinger, yeah, he's definitely flustered. That's just what Dooms look like when you don't have a mobility item or a BKB to actually cast your spells, right? You have to Doom pretty much. First hero you see, or you're getting chain stunned. Yes. He's learned, he kind of learned, he's like, man, I'm 
I'm actually I can't cast yeah. it. Just has to use it. Yeah, and then now he's not thinking straight about it. He's just like, oh well, I see an opportunity to finally just press the button. <laughs> It's got to make him satisfied, right? He hasn't pressed that button very often this it game. It has been a while, <laughs> Rex. I think that was like the second use of it this game. That We saw the one at the Disruptor top when they failed to get the kill, and that was the second one. Yep. They're going to have Pipe, Crimson Guard, and they're already tough to bring down between the Death Prophet and Chaos Knight's natural survivability. So Grant, you said uh, in the beginning, like individual skill wins out in this region. But in this one, like the draft and the play just seems a lot smarter on the side of yeah. Taurus. I mean, they're still, and the individually talented players are technically winning though. But yeah, I, they're winning because of their great teamwork yeah. and because they're tri-lane. I mean, they, they own that tri-lane for the yeah. most part, which is, tri-lane versus tri-lane, you don't see anymore, yes. right? And it's they won like it. Two two. Yeah, and they won the tri-lane versus tri-lane. Well, you're, you're losing our axe at 23 minutes, so. I think if you stall out 12 more minutes, <laughs> I like how you put your hand you up. Can. Gotta check the clock yeah, real quick. Clock. I'd like people to know the visual imagery here. Grant put his hand out as if there was a watch on it, even though we're the only ones here watching. <laughs> and there's no watch on my there's hand. There's no watch. On <laughs> <laughs> he's still trying. I mean, what's he? He's going. Oh, yeah, they lost. If you're going third item BKB on a Medusa, and you've already lost her act, you've. I'm not saying it. I'm saying it's over. I'm gonna. I, I will say I don't think you can win with this item built. The big problem is uh, the itemization from Taurus. Like, Night Stalker is Crimson Guard. Then you look at the damage from Infamous. Clink's right clicks, Medusa right clicks. You do absolutely no damage at all. You do. And they're looking he put for the Solar fight. Crest on the Night Stalker in oh, that no. one the, fight. The worst yeah, didn't do anything. How do you take a fight? Like, what's your. What's There's your no play go button, there? Right? There, okay. I like this. No ghosts. You have the Solar Crest uh, Clinks. It was you, the you same. What was it? Wasn't it just like the same thing that we saw in SG? SG's game just now? Yeah, yeah. They had no way to start a fight. no way to start yeah. a fight. So these, like... Huge problem. The only way you can win is you bloodlust tether the... Medusa. The Medusa and hope that she deals, like... Right. You hope she's super farmed. But that's why I don't like Hurricane Pike BKB and mask. BKB. You yeah. deal zero damage. Okay, they can definitely get this Roche, though. Are you worried about this Roche of your Taurus, or do you just let it go? I think E.T. I think is going to mess with them Yeah, I think so you can much. fight. Mess with them, yeah. okay. I think you can even fight. It's so hard to do Roche into ET. But pardon me, Cap. Can you see if uh, CK has a TP up? He does not. Wait, and I believe he probably TP'd to bottom, so even if he gets one, he won't have it. So do you th you, you think? I mean, unless Slime does mess something with amazing with his stomp and uh, Earth which he can to slow obviously down. So do you think they just? Do you think CK should clear this wave and just start running towards the Roche pit while Slayton kind of messes with them? I just feel like, why take this Roche fight? Okay, you give him a Roche. Who really cares? What, Medusa's going to have a second life? Oh, no. Right, like, right. I almost feel giving away Roche here is a smart play. It doesn't feel play. like a big deal at all, right? It doesn't. But I think you can also fight, which they will. Yeah, Ben yeah. Jazz doesn't even clear the creep wave. He goes straight up. I like that. Might be able to kill XL. Matthew is forced to show himself now. Leo, Leo style, style. Cops uh, a lot of damage here. Here comes that Earth Splitter just straight up with a Static Storm. Doom's going to be caught, and he's quite low. Wow. He's just going to die before he can do anything in this fight. And Papita stuck in the pit with a Spirit Siphon on him with the clap coming out from Roshan. Minos, they need to be able to get a really good Stone Gaze out of this one, and they will be able to chase back some of these heroes. They'll relocate out, though. They just don't have the numbers. Excel's going to be caught. Kataro's trying to get away, and they're going to have a relocate back in and a glimpse right. onto Kataro. They're going to catch both of them here. They're locked together next to the Kinetic Field. Hugging each other in death. Good oh, little hurricane, nice hurricane Pike, yeah. but he won't be able to outrun this Chaos Knight, the little who things. always has the blink. Yeah. So you stone gaze and then everyone ran away. <laughs> that was the fight. Yeah. You know, it's desperate. Their head's in the right place, right? Exorcism's down. We need to do something. It's just, you know, maybe 24 minutes too late for that. Yep. And look at that. You were right, Blitz. You took that early with Taurus. I felt like that was very skewed. Yeah. As in, people were betting on the teams more than not realizing that Ben Jess has been to a TI and carried Tomato to a TI. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> carried. Does he play the carry role? Yes. He does. Okay. Facts. <laughs> Just straight ripping on people to Dick Grant. That's not ripping. And you're not. You're I've not. I've always been a very big Ben Jazz person. I've. Loved Ben Jazz. You love Tomato. Remember when I you were shouting? I still love Tomato. At the, I remember in the Rafters when he was on the panel and you were trying to get us all to say Tomato. Uh, yeah, I, I love all of them, but I still can't believe like with these drafts and Ben Jazz Leo style King Tech at cores, you're really gonna I would say disrespect them by having the odds that high. Yeah, that is that was unbelievable. But then again, we we watch a lot of South American Dota and a lot of I mean people really South American Dota. That's why I'm glad they split up SA and NA, right? 
Now more people can come in yeah. and actually watch yeah. us. I think they did it on purpose. And now people aren't going to be having those, you know, displays of not as high ignorance. as IQ as us. Yeah, ignorance. That's a good word. Not as high as IQ as us. <laughs> <laughs> that's not hard. I believe I'm like 61 or something. I don't know. Don't feel bad, viewers. Grant's yeah. just calling y'all stupid. Yeah. And Cap, I'm out. <laughs> so who'd they – I assume Ben just took the Aegis, right? Sorry. I was not paying attention. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, who else would? He's almost got his uh, – Hard up. The O style is going to get a spinning. blink up. My Next. God. 30, 33 armor on Death Prophet. Score is 29 to 5. This is a beat down. It's one, more than one kill a minute on the side of Taurus, and Infamous has five kills. I think three of which they got in the laning phase. Yep. So that's the baby rattle? No. No, that's not it? We're. After this That's game, after this game, I mean, you just go to a demo hero and you'll you'll see it when yeah. you scroll. We'll right. we'll show it. All right, here we go. They might even fight into shrine. They don't care. If you lose a fight if you're infamous, I think it's you, it's over. Probably call it. Yeah, I think that's. It's not that it's not over right now, but you probably call it after that. I guess the main reason they're staying is because uh, they're not losing fights by their base, so it's not like they're getting follow up. Yeah. But now that just might happen. You have ulti from Leo. Oh, arcane rune ulti from Leo style. Ouch. Pops an insta. Get value out of that thing. Yes, yes sir. Well, Infamous is excellent high ground defense is showing right now. Nobody there to There's defend the orbs. <laughs> There's the orbs. <laughs> <laughs> Get him, Matthew. This is so rough. This is just perfectly played by Taurus. Like, we, we said how each team would win, and Taurus did exactly what they had to do. Yeah. They're even backing out, playing safe. Just going to go for the shrine. Already took the top one. Yeah. Matthew legit just looked at them. They didn't even yep. throw out the snake. Get front row seats to the. And when we talked about how show. Matthew is like the best four in SA, I mean, we're, we're talking about Tusk playing Matthew, right? Like, I'm not saying he can't play Wisp, but I think maybe he did get hurt by these 2 1 2 kind of mm. rotations. Roaming Matthew. Yeah, he's a. Roaming Matthew is a beast. It's also a weird setup, right? Because they safe lane, tri lane into that aggro With the wisp. lane. Yeah. Right. With an ET on it and yeah. a bunch of stuns. The way Infamous's lineup works, too, if they didn't get off to like a, a super fast start on their Medusa, they don't have any ways to start fights, right? Yeah. Their way to start a fight is that, oh, look at our Medusa. You have to deal with her because she's hitting your tower, so you have to go on her. We also talked about Katara, or Grant at least brought up Katara being this like high risk, high reward player. He got solo killed mid, and that slowed him down so much. Yeah. He lost like his tower almost immediately. Yeah, and there hero, was no commitment. On a hero who can sit behind his tower, cast Snake, and just yeah. get farm and stay back, you, you're you dying instead of doing that. Trying to get the Doom off. Oh, it's not again. Three seconds no. stun. Ben just blows him up. Doom is gone. No buyback there on the side. Papita did try and come in from behind to go for the Elder Titan. Everyone Couldn't even run finish off the Stone Gaze. They're just looking away from the Dusa. Now going to go back in with the Stomp coming out. Earth Splitter in with the Glimpse on top of it. Just lands on Papita, nailing him. Fortunately, he's going to be ignored. Instead, it's going to be Kataro who's gone on. Matt here already again. calling the good game they know it's only papita left alive there it is so they will call the gg and that's it taurus will be your fourth team in the playoffs infamous are eliminated I, wow. i'm liking taurus going into the playoffs now i mean i still think pain sg are probably very high up there but i mean taurus has a a 35 to 5 game like this they destroy infamous who coming into this looked very good good You're call at the good. beginning thanks you too i like I don't know. I just really like that, man. That was that was clinical. Every time you guys fist pump, I can't help notice but the size of the hands. That's why I keep tucking my hands like yeah, this I now. Know. Who's getting the MVP? I give it to Sladen. I, I do, personally. I give it to Sladen. Sladen it is. Well, I think... I'm just giving it to him because he did win him the tri lane. He did not even get top three. <laughs> Leo How? style? Uh, Benjis got Isn't first, Leo Style got second, King Tekka honestly, got third. I, they I, literally just went for I the say some, and one, two, he's, three. He's the only Ecuadorian pro player, right? Is I want to say. Is it, yeah, I believe so. And Did I, I mean, guess so? I said hurts. I don't know. I thought he played the tri lane perfectly. The middle fight when he got a three-man ulti when he was at the pit, he did it big. I mean, they, they all played well. That's one of those games you can pick any of the five heroes. And for me, it was just, I like watching a high-impact support in a tri-lane win a game. That's why I would give it to him. Sounds like you're a bit biased towards supports because they clearly picked the carry player. Yes. The audience knows what they're doing. Yep. Do they? Every so why time. Don't, why didn't we see more of the audience join open qualifiers and show us how to play? They are. They they're have busy. their own open qualifiers. You are correct. Ecuador. Okay, I thought yep. so. Okay. Do we have tiebreakers? 
No, nope. we have no tiebreaker. We can, have no tiebreaker. Can, 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 uh, can we show the bracket forfeit. really quick? Sorry, Cap, I know we're sure. supposed to. I just want to see. Absolutely, Grant. Just in case. Anything for you, my dude. Thank you. Here so that is going to be our look at that top four. I'm I'm still very upset about the Midas. Not <laughs> like eh, that just sucks that they didn't get to play yeah. their game. Uh, oh, sorry, I laughed. I thought you were talking about when you mixed up the the players. Oh not no, the, not I, the I was uh, I was sad about that. that no, was that just is, stupid that of me. Though. Wait, doesn't it says Thunder Predator and now plays Pain? Really? Yeah, because whoever wins yes, second, and, second third. and third seed. Yeah, uh, but that's not in. <laughs> Yeah, yes. that is no for matter sure what the bracket will they, be that. I mean, I still want to cast the game. Yes, but it doesn't. It'll, really it'll be an anything. interesting best of one. I see. Are they playing it out anyways? I believe so. At least so. Uh, well, be that's to be determined. They're making the lobby right now, and I'm that's sure so weird. that's because like playing that game. There's you no don't advantage. want to give away anything. Yeah, there's yes. no advantage for the better team to play that game, or not the better team, but the team higher seated. Yeah, it's definitely different. I I hope they play it because I do want to watch yeah, Dota. Of course. As not watching any Dota yesterday very much took a toll on. We all like watching Dota and playing Dota. Dude, I was losing it. And not doing Dota stuff. Well, we did do Dota stuff, but yeah, I'm excited for that. I'm excited to watch Taurus in the playoffs now. I think Taurus is going to be a force to be reckoned with, but can they topple the we're going to Lance Giant? They look good, though. They do. All right. Apparently, they do want to play. Oh, okay. both teams? So that's good. Hi. Well yeah. Then. So like we are, uh, we're going to go to a break. The pain is already in the lobby, so we should be starting soon. So probably five minute break and hopefully the game will already be started by then. So don't go anywhere. We'll be back.